We live in crazy times. Ripple has finally beaten the SEC, and we've been waiting for this bullish signal for more than four years. Pretty cool, right? Now, there's only one thing left to do. Find out how much growth XRP Ripple is capable of. Experts are talking about incredible possibilities, and even artificial intelligence is predicting growth that you might not be ready for. That's the most important video for every XRP Ripple holder. That will blow your mind. Disclaimer. Ripple's ongoing legal battle with the Securities and Exchange Commission has become a landmark case that could shape the future of cryptocurrency regulation. XRP, Ripple's digital asset, has been at the center of this dispute, and recent developments have sparked widespread discussion within the crypto community. In a recent tweet, Jack the Rippler highlighted a significant moment when Ripple's chief legal officer, Stuart Alderodi, stated on CNBC that the SEC lost everything that was important to them. This statement underscores the broader sentiment within the crypto space that the court's rulings have been largely favorable to Ripple, particularly in asserting that XRP is not a security. However, the story doesn't end here. Prominent attorney James Murphy, also known as Meta Law Man, recently discussed why the SEC might not be willing to accept defeat so easily. In an insightful interview on the Wolf of All Streets podcast, Murphy detailed two primary reasons why the SEC might appeal the Ripple verdict. First, there's the matter of disgorgement. The SEC had initially sought $876 million, claiming that institutional investors who purchased XRP were financially harmed. Yet, Judge Annalisa Torres denied this request, ruling that the SEC failed to demonstrate any economic losses among these investors. This ruling could set a precedent for other SEC cases, making it harder for the Commission to secure disgorgement without clear evidence of investor harm. However, this is where things get complicated. Murphy points out that there's a division in how different circuits view this issue. While the Second Circuit, which presided over this case, requires proof of investor losses, the Fifth Circuit does not. This split in judicial interpretation might compel the SEC to challenge the disgorgement ruling to avoid weakening its position in future cases. The second potential point of appeal lies in Judge Torres's ruling on programmatic sales of XRP in the secondary market. On July 13, 2023, she determined that these sales do not constitute investment contracts. This decision is particularly significant because it has already influenced other crypto-related lawsuits, such as the SEC versus Binance case, where a similar ruling was made regarding BNB. The SEC might see this as a dangerous precedent that could undermine its broader regulatory agenda, leading it to challenge this aspect of the ruling as well. On the other side of the aisle, Ripple might also consider an appeal. Matt Rosenden of CapSign has pointed out that Judge Torres's decision to impose a permanent injunction on Ripple's future sales of XRP, unless they receive SEC approval, could be problematic. This injunction could deter institutions from purchasing XRP directly from Ripple, potentially stifling the adoption of Ripple's on-demand liquidity service and affecting the liquidity of XRP in the U.S. market. Ripple's CEO Brad Garlinghouse and Stuart Alderodi have celebrated the court's decision to drastically reduce the SEC's initial $2 billion demand to $125 million. Yet their silence on the permanent injunction suggests there may be more to this story. Could Ripple's leadership be contemplating an appeal of their own to fully clear the path for XRP's growth? And this is where it gets really interesting. The experts didn't just stop at debating this issue. They turned to cutting-edge technology, including artificial intelligence, to get a glimpse into the future. What they uncovered is nothing short of jaw-dropping. Trust me, the forecast they got will completely reshape how you think about the future of XRP and the entire crypto landscape. You're not going to want to miss this. So, a couple of tweets from well-known figures in the crypto world capture the current mood perfectly. Cryptolica tweeted, This time is different, while Jason Pizzino remarked that XRP holders are playing the seven-year waiting game. These sentiments reflect a mixture of cautious optimism and the weariness of a long and uncertain journey. The big question on everyone's mind is, how high can XRP go once the dust from the lawsuit settles? To explore this, the crypto basic turned to AI chatbots, including OpenAI's ChatGPT and Elon Musk's Grok, to forecast possible price trajectories. The insights they provided offer a fascinating glimpse into what could lie ahead for XRP though they come with a fair share of caution. ChatGPT, the AI developed by OpenAI, laid out three potential scenarios, 
each based on different levels of optimism. In the moderate growth scenario, where XRP sees steady institutional adoption and an uptick in Ripple's partnerships, the price could climb to somewhere between $5 and $10. This projection is grounded in a belief that while XRP's adoption could accelerate post-lawsuit, the market might still exercise caution, taking time to fully digest the implications of the ruling. In a more bullish, significant growth scenario, ChatGPT suggested that XRP could soar to between $10 and $20. This outlook hinges on XRP not just surviving, but thriving in a post-lawsuit environment, where increased trust and wider acceptance fuel a rapid climb in value. The AI even entertained the possibility of a parabolic growth scenario, where XRP could break the $50 barrier, though it warned that such an outcome would require a perfect storm of positive developments. However, optimism is only part of the picture. Enter Grok, Elon Musk's brainchild from X Platform, which offered a more tempered set of possibilities. While Grok agreed that XRP could hit $10 if adoption surges, it also pointed out a darker potential path. If regulatory hurdles persist or new challenges arise, Grok warned that XRP could plummet to as low as 10 cents. This sobering projection serves as a reminder that the crypto market, while filled with opportunities, is also fraught with risks. Grok's middle ground scenario envisioned XRP reaching $3 or above, assuming a moderate increase in adoption without any significant market disruptions. This scenario, while less dramatic than ChatGPT's parabolic vision, might resonate with those who see XRP's future as one of steady, rather than explosive, growth. And now, let's dive into another bullish signal that might surprise you even more. We're talking about Ripple's new partnerships, Something that doesn't always get the spotlight, but it's incredibly crucial. These partnerships are a game changer, and missing this signal could mean missing out on something huge. What you're about to hear will truly blow your mind. Japan's decision to adopt XRP for all payments by 2025 is a monumental shift that could set the stage for a broader global transformation in how money moves across borders. This announcement isn't just a regional development. It's a signal that XRP RippleCoin is uniquely positioned to change the entire financial system, bringing about a revolution in digital payments. What makes XRP Ripple so unique? At its core, XRP is designed to facilitate fast, low-cost international payments, something that the traditional banking system has struggled with for decades. Unlike other cryptocurrencies that often serve as speculative assets, XRP was built with a clear purpose to solve real-world problems in the financial industry. Its blockchain, the XRP ledger, is not just another distributed ledger, it's a highly efficient network capable of settling transactions in mere seconds, with fees so low they're nearly negligible. This is crucial in a world where time and cost are significant barriers in cross-border payments. SBI CEO Yoshitaka Kitao has long been a proponent of XRP's potential, and his prediction that XRP would dominate Japan's banking sector by 2025 is now becoming reality. Kitao's foresight wasn't just a shot in the dark. It was based on the growing integration of Ripple's technologies like XRapid and RippleNet into Japan's financial ecosystem. These technologies leverage XRP to enable instantaneous and low-cost remittances, something that has already seen significant uptake across international borders. As more financial institutions in Japan adopt these technologies, XRP's role in the country's financial infrastructure is solidified. But why is Japan's move to adopt XRP for nationwide payments such a bullish signal for the cryptocurrency? The answer lies in the ripple effect this decision could have on the global financial system. Japan is one of the world's leading economies, and its embrace of XRP sends a powerful message to other countries and financial institutions. If Japan can successfully transition to using XRP for all payments, it sets a precedent that other nations might follow. This could accelerate XRP's adoption worldwide, pushing its utility and value even higher. Moreover, the recent introduction of Ripple USD, a stablecoin pegged to the US dollar, adds another layer of utility to the XRP ledger. Stablecoins like RLUSD are crucial for maintaining liquidity and stability in the volatile world of cryptocurrency. By issuing RLUSD on both the XRP ledger and Ethereum blockchains, and the only question remaining is, what are your thoughts on that? Are you bullish on XRP Ripple token? What are your predictions? Let me know in the comments section.
would be curious to know. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content and found it valuable, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment with your thoughts or questions, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe.